Hello, welcome to the world of wings, worms, and wonder. I'm Kelly Johnson, your creative nature connection guide, and welcome to Wonder Wednesday 106, the positive side of drawing negative space. In this sort of photo slide show, I'm going to walk you through drawing a succulent plant and looking at the shapes, the positive space, but really focusing on how the negative space defines the shapes. And then we're going to paint uh, looking at the actual shapes of the colors instead of just sort of painting colors. And this is type of observational drawing that really can help you um, get a more, I don't want to say realistic, but more, um, you know, interesting that adds some of those little zings into your drawing that really make a drawing shine, sing, zing, um, when you get these really cool angles that are happening. So we'll go through it and pause the video at any time because it's a slideshow. That's why I did it this way. So you can freeze and, and draw and paint along. So all you need is paper and pencil, paint and a plant, nothing too outrageous. And you're gonna observe the shapes on the plant. So you can pause here and look at this plant's shapes. You see a lot of triangles. You see how they weave together. The leaves almost braid. Look at the angles. Now let's sketch them. Sketch out that round pot, just a shape, just a circle. You can draw triangles. First leaf is a triangle. Then we draw another triangle off the edge. And notice how the first triangle grows out of the second. And we just keep sort of braiding our triangles together and adding more surrounding it. You can see how the drawing starts to come together. And you draw the, the soil that the plant is growing out of. And then those base leaves, very triangular leaves. Now, let's look at the negative space in particular. So we the negative space is also triangles. So you see you've got this almost isosceles triangle, you've got an obtuse triangle, acute triangles down here, each of those angles where they meet. And then the points of these leaves are also triangles. So this is open negative space. It's the space, the air around the plant. It doesn't have to be a triangle, but these a lot are. Now we have closed negative space, and this is the negative space in between the leaves, and closed negative space is pretty cool. You can go in with your pen and start to define these areas. You can see tracing over the lines in a waterproof pen, really focusing on where those angles meet. I've sort of boldened them so you can see a little better here. You probably wouldn't do that actually in your drawing. So really get those interesting shapes happening in the negative space and then the interesting shapes happening in your positive space. So there's a little video in, in a bit, so don't worry if this seems fast. You paint your flat color, mid-tone, and then you go in with your detail color. So you can see here, once I've got my flat color, I just let the wet on wet, let the paint do the work. I let just tiny little up and down brush strokes define the shape of the color. Because as you notice, if you go back to your reference, these leaves have such cool color blocks, color shapes on them. And that negative space really um, comes through. So you can, depending on, in this case, we're painting the negative space, the darks of the color. Um, I, I like to define the negative space as the darks and the positive space as the lights, but it would really be either way. Though I like to define, you know, what I'm actually painting. So I just work around and look at where the color blocks are and how they fit together within the space of a certain leaf. And you can see I'm touching very lightly and have my Viviva Color Sheets paint I'm using. I get these super bright gorgeous colors. And this is an olive that I'm coming in with the darks and the foliage green is what I was using for the mid-tone. And I was in very flat lighting. This photo reference I have for you is quite flat lighting. So we're not working so much with highlights 
and that's on purpose in this exercise. We're working mainly with the, the actual shapes of color and within the plant within space. So again, laying in those mid-tones. And then coming back with the darker color in a very light, almost painting just tiny, tiny little lines and then letting the wet paint, wet paper, blend those lines together into a color block. I don't wanna get too dark too fast so I'm working in layers. If your paper's a little dry, just add a little more water. Filling in, so I'm getting a, a little bit of shadow down here where they meet, but that's because there is a dark color block at that area, if you look at the reference again. And you may be painting from my reference photo at the beginning, that's also um, available for download in the blog, or you may be painting your own plant. So now, there are bright areas, so yellow is a great way to add a subtle highlight, subtle area of lighter color to uh, a green, a leaf. And then coming back with some more saturated olive to create a little bit of a shadow where these two leaves cross over. But you can see how the wet on wet kind of, I'm kind of following along what the paint did um, naturally and then adding more color blocks in based on the cool shapes that the wet on wet paint actually made for me. So remember, let the paint do the work. You can guide it around, but also take advantage of the cool things that happen, happen naturally. I also add some pops of lemongrass, which is that bright, brighter, yellowy or green. See how I'm almost just dabbing, tapping the brush and creating these color blocks. sort of just done the same thing, sort of a recap, working my way around, now going into the little mossy soil of that plant, adding the tree bark brown, and then my vase is white, but I'm in a very painted blue wall environment, so I used blue because the white was bouncing off and made a nice reflection. I added orange for the reflective light. You can see the, the areas of negative space where these leaves meet, how the white pops through there. It looks really nice. So this is just a teeny super quick way to check out more of what we'll be doing in my workshop, Nature is Simply Shapes. Um, and also check the blog for the full, more detailed description of this project. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you will have some fun playing with negative space and letting it help you uh, refine and grow your nature journaling techniques. Be sure to check the blog. There'll be more about this activity and lots more Wonder Wednesday fun for you there. I hope you enjoyed the positive side of drawing negative space. <music>